Well, hello, as you know, I am Joe Powell, uh, Chief Executive of All Wales People First, and this is one of the video messages that I promised I'd post quarterly as part of our mirror strategy or business plan. This message is going to be a little short and sweet, but I want to keep up to date with you. Um, these messages hopefully will get to a much better quality as we uh, come to recruit the new staff. Uh, which I will update you on in this message too. But we just want to have a wider and more public presence with our members so people know what's going on within Always People First, as promised in the strategy. The biggest piece of news I want to share with you, and some of you will have seen this obviously on Facebook and we've told the board and the National Council, is that our Social Services and Wellbeing Wales grant uh, was successful. It was, it's was it been the largest uh, Welsh Government grant we've had in our history called Hear Me, Include Me, Respect Me, a citizenship, wellbeing and community project. And that bid was fed in by three conferences, uh, including a 2007 teen evaluation in which you told us what you wanted us to do to change and adapt to the existing times. So we're going to do that. I'm pleased with the progress we've made so far in the mirror strategy. But in order for us to do the things that uh, the members uh, asked us to do, we needed a bigger staff team. We, we, we punch well above our weight, the staff team. If you could only see the work we do, you'd be amazed and the output we have. But in order to deliver what the members were asking us to do, we needed to recruit new staff and uh, I'm pleased to see we've done that now, new core staff. So welcome to Philippa Davis, who will be our mirror coordinator. So that's a little bit like the job you will have seen uh, Matthew Brindley do for us. Welcome also to Sarah Ansell, who will be our always people first support worker. That's to help Tracy work within the regional councils, which I'll talk about later. And also to Claire Morgan, who is our business and communications administration assistant and her job will help to, to be to take away some of that back office paperwork uh, and include, uh, and, sorry, increase and improve our comms so that we can be out there more present in terms of the campaigning, lobbying and making your voices heard. They will have all been interviewed and they will start on the 1st of April. So we hope when they're in post and they settle in, um, you will see always people first, hopefully, go into another uh, into another more positive level. The main aim of the uh, mirror strategy, which is called reanimating self-advocacy, is to help local groups, as groups have asked in the evaluation, to survive during these difficult times. Now, I won't go through all the details with you because you've heard them a lot of times from me, but a core component of that is our regional councils, which will mean uh, that all Wales will work in co-production with local groups in regions to help to show local authorities why they're important, why self advocacy is important to safeguard them for the future. And it's purely a co-productive approach agreed by members of the National Council. And the idea is that we just try it out over these three years, see if it works. If it doesn't work, then, you know, that that's your call. Um, do you want to do it with all wheels in the future? Do you want to do it by yourself? That's all fine and that'll be your call. But that's one of the major things we've tried to do. So I'm delighted we've got the funding to make all this happen. There's a whole host of things more, but I don't want to, to bog you down with that too much now. I'm also delighted that our photography bid project called Through Our Eyes was successful with Big Lottery. That will also be starting on the 1st of April. Uh, Natasha Hurst, who you will have seen work uh, at our conferences, taken photographs. She will project manage the project and obviously we've put out job advertisements for a person with a learning disability to work alongside her and the interviews for that will be on the 3rd of April. So we're really looking forward to seeing um, who gets that job. And obviously from our point of view, we wanted to employ more people with learning disabilities if we could. So we're delighted that we're able to do that. And of course, on the 31st of March, we'll be interviewing for a core researcher to work alongside Jan Wormsley and the core researcher will have a learning disability who will help measure how well we are working to our mirror strategy. How well are we actually doing the things we're saying we're going to do? And if we're not, what changes do we need to make in order to keep on track? So that'll be another job for a person with a learning disability. The interviews for that will be on the 31st of March. We haven't had a lot of applications for either post. We think that might be because of the benefit situation and the uncertainty which I can absolutely um, sympathise with. I nearly didn't take this current role I had for that reason. And this was before uh, the difficult benefit situation we have now. So uh, I can completely sympathise with that actually. 
Uh, and I'd certainly be interested in your feedback. Anybody who would have liked to have gone for the job and didn't, I'd love your feedback to, to why that was. Um, because I think we could, we could learn an awful lot from that too. I'm also delighted as well that um, our National Council played a major part in the Improving Care, Improving Lives report written by uh, Shane Mills. Now, some of you will have seen or shared this on Facebook and social media. Uh, the report basically is talking about people in mental health hospitals who are going in uh, with, with certain needs and then when they're better or they're able to live in the community, they're still being forced to live uh, in these hospitals um, with no other place to go. And obviously, um, hospitals are there for the sick. They are not there for people to um, to be housed. And that takes us back to the old days of institution, which obviously is very shocking, especially in a Wales that, that's especially trying to aspire and make citizens um, more in charge of the important decisions that affect their lives and be more person-centered. What was really lovely about it was, from our point of view as all Wales, I was delighted that Shane Mills worked with our National Council and our members across Wales in this work and that he called on us to help him to champion this, asked me to write the foreword, which I'm really delighted with. One of the big problems for people with learning disabilities uh, for our members in Wales is whenever an issue affects people like us, we call upon organisations to speak for us and speak on important issues from people who work for organisations who don't have personal lived experience of that situation. So in the, the Black Civil Rights Movement, for instance, you wouldn't have white organisations speaking about black rights and only white people being employed. In um, LGBT, you wouldn't have somebody who isn't LGBT speaking up about LGBT rights. In the learning disability world, far too often, uh, one of the problems we have is that um, we call on people who don't have any personal experience of the issues to speak on our behalf. And I think that has to change. And I think that's something in the mirror strategy we want to try and put right. So, you know, a, a big thanks to Shane. And I hope that's a positive sign of things to come where we as all Wales people first, and obviously the groups and the networks across Wales will be more involved in being heard and speaking up when these important media stories break um, in terms of how it affects us with lived experience on the ground. I'd just like to end by saying thank you for listening again. Tomorrow, um, the 28th of February, uh, I'll be setting the day aside for any member who wants to call me and have a chat with me. Um, another one of our commitments in the Mirror Strategy. And I will be posting that on Facebook and advertising that this evening. Thank you very much for listening. Um, I hope you're all well. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you. Thank you.